So it's like four in the morning. Gotta be quiet. The whole family's asleep. Um, you know, I spent like my whole night working on this. I only got like 10 minutes worth of shit to do. The video's over. Hope y'all enjoy this because this is it's one of the better stories I got. Uh, yeah, just let me know how y'all feel on this shit. And I, oh yeah, I definitely ripped all the gameplay. I fucking stole that off of like random dudes on YouTube. But yeah. Alright, so I know what you're thinking. Second to last day of school. What the fuck's so special about it? But let me tell you. The second to last day of school, the periods were extended. Alright. Alright. And I have art first period, science second period, and then I got lunch. And it's a wrap. So, first period is art. All my homies in there. I walk in there, sipping a can of Arizona, telling them how much I love them. I'm going to miss them. The class is never going to be the same because it's not going to be there no more. So, I go in there. It was just a good day. You know, I talked to them. It was just a good day. The second period, I ended up leaving. Like, I did my semester exam, left, went to, went to one of my coaches' class. I don't do, not my coach. I'm just not going to say his name. Cause like I ain't trying to get him in trouble, but he's cool as fuck. I just went in there, ripping on dab pins and shit, and I don't even rip a dab pin. I take that back. It was just my stoolie. And then lunch, the greatest part of the day. We all had this planned out. Like a whole group of people just had this shit planned out. All right, and so we're like, bro, let's go. We had four grams. All right, four grams for a high school broke ass dude like me. It's great. So we walk up there, fucking eight, nine people, like just the whole table went. And at first I was kind of pissed. I was like, man, what the fuck? Like, I didn't want to tell no one to leave because I liked all of them. But I was just like, man, like, man, I don't want all these people to be here. We're not going to smoke. It's not going to be cool, bro. And I provided the Rillos. So I had my seat. Like, there was no, there was no abandoning me. It was a wrap. Like, I, you couldn't. I had the Rillos. So, we walk across the street. I don't know why we didn't just smoke in the parking lot. I don't know why we didn't go to the lake. I don't know. We just had the urge to go across the street to Terrace Landing, if you know where that is. And so, we go there. You know, we have, like, a fucking hour and 20 minutes. Like, some crazy, like, maybe it was, like, 70 minutes. I don't even, I don't even know. But it was some crazy amount of time, right? And so, they're rolling up. You know, it's just it's just a good day. Like, you know, I have a, a little nug in my hand. I'm... <laughs> sniffing it you know enjoying the fact that oh shit boys we're about to smoke you know you got people breaking it up with their fingers because we can't afford grinders that's that's just a no-go you know we got people breaking up the rillos you know we got the the professional roller malachi all right he's sitting there you know fucking 15 minutes to roll this blunt man something crazy shit like that and then we have brian rolling a backwood and the backwood gets done first because I'm like, I'm like, bro, who cares? Like, just fucking roll it. We'll hit it loose. Like, there's no problem. Get the first blunt, then get the second blunt, then get the third blunt. So he rolls up the backwood. It's done in about five, ten minutes. I'm not sure. And it gets in rotation. And I'm like, let me hit the hill. Let me, you know, I'm hitting it. And, like, I realized just how much four grams is. Like, it doesn't seem like a lot, especially when there's a lot of people there. But it, it like... It was getting it was getting us there, right? Cause it was we had three blunts, so so the first blunt, you know, my leg goes numb, and I'm like walking around trying to get the feeling back. That shit did not come back. That shit, it was not coming back. I'm just sitting there walking in circles. Cause everyone's like, "You good?" I'm like, "Yeah, bro, I'm good. It's just my leg. It's asleep." And then I look around and I'm like, "Oh shit, never mind. I'm high as fuck." <laughs> So I sit down, we get the next one in rotation, and it just hits perfect. It's just beautiful. It's just tightly rolled, perfect, just to perfection. And we're hitting it, and we're passing it around, and we finish it. And, you know, we're all just kind of talking, you know, just little stone talk, you know. Oh, bro, I'm so high right now. No, bro, I'm higher than you. Nah, dude, I'm hitting the stoolie. Oh, shit, the stoolie. <laughs> Just like high talk and shit. And it's like, it was so hot. Like, it was so hot. And by the end of the smoke session, it was cloudy and humid as fuck. 
So we get a third blunt in rotation, all right? And I'm like, I don't even want to hit that. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm where I'm at right now. I'm a little above where I need to be at right now, but I don't even want to hit it. Everyone's like, nah, bro, hit the blunt. And I'm like, okay, fuck it. <laughs> So they're holding it for me. I don't know why the fuck they're holding it for me, but someone was holding. I don't remember who's holding it, but they're holding it, and I'm just hitting it, and I'm just like, I'm just chiefing on it. Like I, I don't even know what I was thinking, and I'm not like, I'm not even holding it. Like that's, the, I don't know. I don't know why I couldn't just hold the blunt. I didn't ask. I didn't give a fuck, and we we killed it right. And I think like Scott and Eduardo, they had to split ways. They're like, we're gonna walk home, like, you know. Catch y'all later. See y'all tomorrow on the last day of school. Peace. And I'm like, later, guys. Love y'all. Peace. And then we start walking back to the school. And, like, my legs are feeling, like, jello. My mind's in a different... Like, I'm on a spaceship right now. We're just talking. I don't, I don't know what we're talking about. And, and then... We start getting to the parking lot, and, like, I see a hole. Like, there's a hole by the ACTC in the fence, and I'm looking at it, and I had to pee so bad. Like, y'all don't even understand how bad I had to pee. And I was like, should I just walk over there, go on the other side of the fence, piss real quick, and come back? But I was talking to myself in my mind. So, like, I'm looking at my homie, and he's just, like, off in, off in space. And everyone else split up. Like, it's just me and Brian. And I don't know where everyone else went. Like, I'm just, like okay fuck it you know i'm just talking to him and i completely like forgot to say bro should i just go to that fence real quick and piss and he would have been like yeah bro just go piss real quick you know whatever so we so we walked past it and i'm like bro did i piss myself <laughs> i'm like so high i'm like i'm literally just like in the parking lot just grabbing my dick trying to figure out if my pants are wet and he's like or i was wearing basketball shorts and he's like nah dude like I don't think so. And I'm like, I don't think so either, bro. But I got to pee so bad. And I don't know if I can hold it. And it's an emergency. And it's it's the fucking end of the world, bro. I got to pee so bad. And so I'm just sitting there, just like looking at my dick the whole time, just talking to him. Every like couple minutes, I'm like, bro, am I good? And he's like, yeah, bro, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. All right. And I'm like, thanks, man. Appreciate it. So we walk back and we come into the courtyard. And, like, school just ended. We came back. Perfect timing. I was going to go home. I was going to be home alone. I was just going to listen to music. I was just going to do my thing, you know? Who gives it? Like, it's just my thing. And and then, like, I go in. I'm like, guys, I'm going to take a piss real quick. You know, I'll wait here for me. And they're like, yeah, whatever. And they're just texting people. And I go and I take a piss. And I walk out the bathroom to the court. So, like, this is the bathroom by the courtyard. Like, the one that, like, when you walk in from the courtyard, it's just right there. And next thing you know, all I hear is, tornado, tornado, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. And I'm like, wait, what? And I, like, look over to Malachi, and I'm, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck is happening? And there's, like, a group of three of us, and we're just, like, they're like, I don't know, dude. And I'm like, nigga, what the f- what, bro, can someone tell me what's happening? Like, are we going to the bus? Like, what? And then next thing you know, I hear him say, Mr. Monte or Mr. Monte. I don't, I don't know who the dude is. I've never had him as a teacher. And then I'm like, okay, cool. What about him? And they just, boom, they just dart off. And I look at them and I look at my shoes and I look at them and I just haul. At, we're just hauling as high as fuck. Just like three, four stoned ass dudes just running through the halls. And we run all the way through, and, like, teachers are telling us to come here, and they're like, nah, fuck you, and I'm like, yeah, fuck you, and I'm just running, just hauling ass, and we run all the way past the 200 hall, cut through the 100 hall, and then we take a left in that little center thing, you know, like, the little center hall between those two halls, and then we cut from the 100 hall to the 200 hall, and I'm out of breath, bro, <laughs> you know, haven't had water, I got cotton mouth like a bitch, and we're just running and then like I lost them like I, I I forgot to run like I was just walking and I was like wait where the fuck am I going and I was like I think I know where this Mr. Montag dude is so I so I'm running I go to the class they're all in the back corner of the class and I'm like what's up broskies <laughs> and so you know I'm just walking you know everyone's just like looking at me 
or at least it feels like that. I don't think they actually were, but like, I don't know. Like I, I don't know. I was just really high, and I felt like everyone was looking at me, cause I was wearing. I don't know. I, was just, I don't know. So I walk to the back of the class, and I see all my homies. I see Yan, um, Landon, Malachi. You know, just all the boys, all all the real ones. And I'm like, what's up, guys? You know, what's good? And so I just sit there. And, like, I had no service on my phone, all right? And I'm sitting there, no service. Like, I can't listen to music. I can't watch videos. Like, it's just not a good time. So I'm just sitting there talking to everyone. We're just talking, you know. Just don't talk because they're, like, everyone that went back to school from the little smoke sesh was in that class. Plus all the other potheads, and they're just ripping on dab pins. And I'm like, nah, I'm too high. Like, I don't fuck with that. So I'm just sitting in the back. And then next thing you know, the teacher walks in. She's like, it's blue skies. I, I don't know why they have us in here. And I'm like, yeah, blue skies. No, I, I fuck with that. And so, and so, like, I'm just like, I'm like, I feel a lot better because I'm really high. And I'm thinking about, like, if a tornado comes in, the desk are going to be flying. Everyone's going to be screaming. You know, something's going to hit me in the head, and it's going to hurt. Um, that's, like, all I'm thinking about. Everyone in there is all pissed off. I'm like, I'm, I'm safe. I don't want to go nowhere where it's not safe. And I know I'm safe in this class. So I, I had a good time, honestly. And then next thing you know, Yon pulls up his phone. And he's like, oh, fuck, there's a tornado across the street from the HETC. And I'm like, no, I start freaking the fuck out. Like, I didn't really show it, but I was like, wait, let me let me, let me see that. And I see it, and I, I get up straight to the wall. Like, I go straight to the wall, put a desk right in front of me. I'm sitting next to, like, Ethan or someone. And then Brian, another dude from the hotbox. I realized he was in the class. Not the hotbox. Why the fuck I say hotbox? From the smoke sesh. I realized he was in the class. And I was like, where the fuck have you been? And I'm like, what? How, how, how did you get here? And he's like, I, I don't know. <laughs> he's just like, I don't know. And he's just like, watch. He Wu-Tanged. So, like, he's 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 pretty out of there. Because he Wu-Tanged that bitch. I have a video of him just pff, suck that bitch up. And so, and so he's just, like, watching shit on his phone. And I'm too high to understand that, like, I should just ask him for a headphone and watch a video with him. But I didn't do that. Sad story. Um, and so, like, the tornado comes in. You know, they're telling us, like, all this shit. And next thing you know, the teacher runs in. She's like, everybody get against the wall. Ah, fucking screaming. And I'm like, just the only thing I'm thinking of is papers flying, the roof being ripped off, me flying, like, just not a good time. And, like, so where I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm all scared. And I, I pull out my, my jewel, right? I ran through a pod and a half. Like, I just had it in my mouth from that point on. Like, it it was a wrap. Like, I was just sitting. I was hitting it. I was letting everyone else hit it. And, like, I, I just had it in my mouth the whole time. Like, if you know, like if someone else had it, I'd be like, bro, pass it back. Like, I, I need it. Like, I'm really scared. It's calming me down. And and so at the end, you know, we're, like, getting in the drawers and shit. Like, the little cabinets and stuff. And they're trying to hotbox it. You open it up, just fucking smoke rolls out. Mr. Wood is just staring at me, ripping on my jewel. And I, like, I'm so high. I'm, like... I don't give a fuck, like, I don't care, and, which is not, not a good attitude, like, I should not have done that, but I was in such, like, a scared position, I was just like, I don't care, and then, like, people are trying to walk out and shit, and they're like, y'all can't leave, <laughs> and I'm sitting there just shaking, spooked in my boots, and that was, that was pretty much it, like, they let us go, I'm, like, on the bus, no, 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 no. Gracie gave me a ride home, which made me feel a lot better because I didn't have to be on the bus. I got home. I was still home alone, a little stoned. It, it was honestly a good day. It was a good day. A lot of people didn't like it because the little storm thing, but I liked it because the storm thing, like, it intensified my high. Like, it made me feel like I was, whew, like I was a rocket man or something. I don't know. So that's the second to last day of school. The last day of school was even more of a banger. So I might release that. I mean, who knows? And yeah, I mean, that's that's the story. I really just went home, killed the pantry. Man, fuck, I had like a whole box of Pop-Tarts. That was gone. Whole box of brownies. That was gone. Couple cans of Arizona just laying on my floor. 
I woke up the next day. I'm like, oh, shit. Cleaned up my room because I had fucking trash everywhere. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that was pretty much it.